Hello and welcome back. Let's check out this video. It's MGMT. Nothing to declare. Ten days ago. I haven't seen this at all yet. This kind of sounds like an Elliot Smith type of uh, arrangement. And of course, Elliot Smith was highly influenced by the Beatles. Alright, so we got like a girl who appears to have no arms or limited arm capabilities. Kind of sound like I said. It's like Elliot Smith, obviously, was influenced by the Beatles, and then you can hear in the background all these MGMT type of noises, like the little synths that are EQ'd a certain way, and then we just heard a little explosive uh, delay or reverb echo on the vocal. This sounds very spare compared to what you might normally hear from MGMT. I guess this is kind of reminiscent of uh, that song Weekend Wars off their first album. The song is like guided by a guitar riff and then they just add different stuff over the top. Another song too that's kind of similar to this would be Plenty of Girls in the Sea, which I think, uh, actually I've diagrammed this song, and if you look at my other uh, video breakdowns, specifically Blink-182, I Miss You, and uh, Fall of Troy, Live in Ukraine, I go through this process of breaking down how a song's put together. And in that specific song, Plenty of Girls in the Sea, it's similar to this because it's like kind of a simplistic song, whereas their other stuff can be more long form, like prog psychedelic music. But yeah, there's a time change. I think it's four four to three four and back. Chorus is a three four. You gotta wonder who recorded this, because usually they go with Dave Fridman. But on their second album, they recorded with someone else. clock ticking away in the background too. I mean, let's see if I can look in the description here. Listen to Bubblegum Dog. Is that a new album? Or is this just a single? I don't know. I guess I gotta look, that, look up that info, but as the video has wrapped up, I can do like a little bit of more discussion on MGMT. So, first album. It's 2007, 
I can remember I was sitting in a dorm room and some girl had this album playing on her iTunes, what's it called? Oracular Spectacular. It was playing on her iTunes, um, just trying to not to get too much glare in my glasses here. Like you can preview an album. Maybe she had already bought it, but I had never heard it before. So I was sitting in uh, this girl's dorm room going over some homework and then I hear like what must have been Electric Feel or one of these songs and I'm listening to it through her laptop speakers and she had like the iTunes app out on a preview, it was a long time ago. I'm listening to it and I go, wow, this is pretty cool. Then uh, figured out MGMT, that album and everything. So they're a group that I always forget that I have seen them live. So I saw them live the following year. And when I saw them, they played a bunch of songs off of Congratulations, which wasn't out yet, I don't think. So I saw them, like, maybe five months before that album. Haven't seen them since. Since then, I think uh, the only album that they put out that really interested me was the one... The self-titled one. And, yeah, it's got some interesting stuff on it. The most recent one with the clown on the cover wasn't that great. So, if this is a new album called Bubblegum Bubblegum Dog, then I gotta check it out and see. And only other comments on this song, I'm kind of curious with the percussion, if that was live or if that was like uh, created using digital instruments like MIDI or something. And uh, yeah, I thought the video was pretty interesting. It definitely has some re rewatch value because you can see there's like a narrative arc there, like, you know. And was that the same girl in front of the Eiffel Tower? But uh, I'll give the song... The song wasn't that good, really. It kind of sounded like... It, it only had like two different parts. Too much, as they say, ear candy. So noises in the background which aren't really adding to the composition, but are just like sound effects. Which can be cool, but... As long as they're appropriately selected and placed in. I'll give that song a 5, and I'll give that video... Nine. Nine, nine and a half. I think the video is actually pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah. If you like this reaction, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.